My name is Robert Davidson. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I will be competing against Tom Hogan, Dan Barry, and Matt Kushner to see who is the all rightest chef. Join us today for this episode of Robert's Kitchen. 2023 edition. We have one upload, and it's the best thing you've seen all year. All right. Uh, hi, my name is Robert. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a cook-off between uh, me and these three knuckleheads. So we spin the meal wheel, which you'll see on screen right now if Tom's a good editor, and then whatever it lands on, you've got to cook that meal. Then the mystery wheel determines a special wacky mystery ingredient that you have to use while you cook. Our gracious taste judge behind the camera, uh, Catherine. Thanks, Catherine. You're welcome. Take that to a mystery uh, meal. Mystery meal. Just spin that, spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. All right, let's get it. This is for us. Steak. Oh, oh no. Fuck. So you have to cook a steak dish. Oh. A steak dish. A steak dish. The most You're gonna the worst worst one. One. <laughs> all of them. Let's go pick like some like skirt steak, you know, some Mexican steak. We can look up a recipe. Yeah. Now go to the um, mystery ingredients. The mystery ingredient to put Dog. in with steak. Steak and I hope we don't get pickles. Pickles. Oh. Ooh, that's that's blueberries. Not blueberries. Ooh. We can make a fire sauce or something. Steak and blueberries. Alright, my turn for the mystery meal. Oh, he got the easiest easy one. one. Got pasta. Easy pasta. <laughs> this seems a little bit unfair. It's, it's the awesome. mystery ingredient. The mystery. the mystery ingredient. It's gonna be like freaking. Oh, it's gonna be like. It's gonna, it's gonna be cheese. You're raisin fish. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 That's a little better. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Who's got fucking cheese with pasta? What are we gonna do <laughs> with cheese and pasta? What are we gonna do? All right. So the plan so, is avocado pasta. Steak blueberry. blueberry steak. <laughs> Let's break, do our research. Right. Catherine, you got something to do, and we've got some shopping to do. Three, two, one. All right, I'm at the Acme. I have pulled up next to uh, these fucking galoots. Getting the chicken now, here? got the spices, these look fucking up. goobers. We got steak, we got uh, blueberries in there as well, and I think we have something interesting but you know we're gonna make it work one of the big determiners here is gonna be what shape of pasta we use the recipe calls for spaghetti but i think that's fucking boring so we're gonna go off the rails and do something insane uh easy choice best pasta farfalle perfect it's for the bread secret weapon here pango let's go 17 24 oh yeah how many store it's not, it's not that bad. Salsa fresca is a better chipotle that's pretty regional. No, it is not better than chipotle. Well, I mean, you're not on camera, so your opinion doesn't count. Yeah, shit. Salsa fresca <laughs> is not better than chipotle. Our codes, we push out. the quick look up button. Don't worry about it. Yeah, honestly, boys, go go down in the comments. Let me know if you like men, you know? Um, that's just my thing. Everybody like the video if you want Dan to come back. They're not gonna like the video. You know, I'm really sad that on the wheel, but we didn't get meth. And if we had gotten meth and blueberries, oh, tell me that would not have been a good combo. I, Wait, meth was actually on the wheel. No. told me it was on the wheel. Addicted to meth. No. You meth told me it was on the wheel. That's the only not, reason I came. I did not. You know, in Australia, it is illegal to boil uh, lobsters alive. Look, look at that guy right look there. That guy. You guys are losing. He's, trying, he's, to trying, he's, to he's trying to pass. Oh, you Yo. can't. You can't. You're not, you ain't John Wick, bro. Hold on. Because people think you can taste the pain. Oh, shit, we're going. Rush in, rush in. <laughs> I could uh I could film it. Oh and yeah, then, give that dy dynamic playmaker kind of yeah. kind of camera making. Um, it's like Succession episode. Mm. Junk drawer, of course. Honestly, fancy china. Oh, Tupperwares and such. I'd tupper my wear in there. Ziploc bags. Silverware. That. Plates and bowls. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a lot of bowls. Big mixing bowls <laughs> and stuff. More exotic cooking implements. Pots, pans, small measuring cups. Oh yeah. Uh, shit you can put in the oven and shit you can heat stuff up with. Mixing bowl, baking trays, and cutting boards. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Some more spices up there. Mm -hmm. Up top oven, 
down low oven touch, touch low screen low stove. Did you catch my joke, bro? What'd you say? Is the up top oven yeah, the down, is the down low oven and the two slow oven? Too slow oven? I thought that was immaculate. <laughs> okay. What was the first half, Thomas? One cup of extra virgin olive oil. Alright. And then what was after that? Half cup of lesson vinegar. Alright, and then three garlic minced. But three garlic knots? Three garlic something. Three garlic, garlic dots. Cloves. cloves. That's it. Yeah, and then it was two tablespoons of rosemary <laughs> and fourth fourth of a teaspoon of salt and fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. Alright. Well, There's slippery bottles, be careful. We're doing half of what we said, right? So uh, everything is that. Well, oh uh, well, it was for a pound and a half, and that's a pound. Um, you might want to do two thirds. Just eyeball it. So half a cup of this, but I'm just gonna say a fourth. Three. Thomas, like, I just noticed. I love the smock. Yeah, I yeah. just noticed. The smock. I gotta be dressed up. Yeah. And we need the garlic. Yeah, we need three garlic yeah. cloves minced. Uh, minced. How do we mince? Do we just? Do I call that? How do we mince? mince? Just mince. Okay. Mince is it? No, hold. You don't just mash. <laughs> There is a difference between chopped, diced, and minced. Yeah. Matt knows the difference. I'll see if he knows the garlic peeling method. I don't. He knows. He did. You know. By the way, if you have nothing to do, if you'd like to vlog, you can. What am I vlogging? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That's so, the I'm gonna dump this. These are clothes. Do you want me to do a, a quick, a quick garlic lesson? Yeah, sure, man. Here. God. Wait, hold on. He's not on our team. That's okay. <laughs> I, He's carrying us. The dishes are easy enough. This is not even like a like a cook off. Oh, I got it. Give me a clove. That's beautiful. Here. I like a both ends, not one end. Oh, I thought you peeled it before you mince it. Oh, yeah, you do. It's just the strap. Did you see now? You peel it Wow. Off. So that's minced. No. This no. is chopped. All right, Tom. Hit that shit. Hit so that let's get all three at once here. You gotta learn from the, the master here. Me not being the master, by the way. That's sliced. Yeah. Then if you hit it again, that'll be chopped. Oh, and then one pass to chopped is gonna be diced, and then pass hey, diced hey, hey. is minced. What if that was you eat this garlic piece right No. Is this minced? That's diced. Oh, uh, that's diced. Fuck me. So it's, at this point. <laughs> you washed your hand, right? Yeah, you yeah I think I'm part. doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> that in that, yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's hard to catch it in that, so I'm telling him to grind it. Hit it again, Tom. Creole seasoning, Creole seasoning. Yeah. 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 Looks so appetizing. <laughs> Every Edgar Wright movie. Wait, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. This looks pretty good to me. Keep yeah, going. Just punch it. Take a sip. <laughs> Oh look, oh, just sorry. a minute, no, one spit in the cauldron. Tom, we have so much footage of you whisking this. I think we need more footage. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man, all my cuts were good, and then I have this one oh. sad cut. Redo it. Draw loss. All right, just get a bag. We're gonna put this in. We show. Let's do that over the sink. Yeah. It's a good yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> that is what she said. All right. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Close that thing. Swish it around. Should I get up to the light? Yeah. Well, it's already up to the light. Look at that. Well, now the light's in the frame. Yeah, now the light's oh. in the frame, you idiot. Oh. Oh. So now I think pretty much after mushing it around, we just let it sit for like 30 minutes. Yeah. At this point, we're just cooking, right? This is just like cooking with Tom. In practice, it's not really a cook-off until you compare the two meals together. Yeah. It would have yeah. been a cook-off yeah. if it was Let's like- a fridge shot in this. Fridge shot. Fridge shot. Welcome to MTV Fridge. All right, so now, um, we wait. 30 minutes. Yeah. And oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh yeah. They already made the marinade. That's what we, we did, but it's marinade. Yeah. You know, we did some cooking. We transitioned we, a little farther. Us oh, three yeah, yeah, are gonna wait 30 minutes to um, have the steak marinate. Yeah. And you, do you even do anything? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> Broil is in the oven. Oh, oh. okay. I said broil it until it's medium rare on both sides, and then cook it. How do you cook it? And yep. Uh, broiling is in the oven. Well, but isn't broiling more of like a simmer? No? I think we broil it till it's medium rare, and then we put it on the stove. We finish it off on the stove. I'm pretty sure that's what we were meant to do. So that's what we'll do. I could definitely okay. do the stove part, because I'm the goat. You 
Stop eating the blueberry. All right, last one. All right. You want to freak eat some stuff? Do we do that? What are you freak eating? I don't know. What are you pre eating? You can't like throw out random cooking words and be like. <laughs> no, I did. Okay, well, so what heat should we? Should um, we uh, oh, flambe. Should I baste the sauce a little bit on top of the blueberries, real quick? Hey, how about, how about yeah, work this oven? This is a fancy looking oven. I'm really scared that you guys got steak. Okay. We did get steak. Yeah, and you don't know how to work. <laughs> and she's really scared that you got. I'm scared that you got steak. <laughs> okay, update. We're gonna do. Because we're gonna mash the blueberries a little bit, like a little bit. bit. That's yeah. what I usually do in college. Yeah, but so then just throw just it on. Just cook the steak. Just throw it on. Once we're done with the steak, we have this blueberry stuff heated up a little bit, and we're gonna put a little bit on top. We're gonna have some of it on the side, and it's gonna be very delicious, very cool. Um, and it's it better be delicious. You're I mean, what? Food. I have faith. Oh my god, I've had this bad boy. Oh, oh yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm making the uh, the sauce to go on top. I'm, I'm a little worried you that squirt, you squirting me. Yes, I am. Huh? Right. There's Johnson in there. What's it? You want to explain what you're doing? I am making the sauce for my avocado and chicken pasta. What's some uh, some recent wisdom that you learned, man? Cows. Gotta have, you gotta, have, you gotta have a poop knife in your Montana. You know, it's above Wyoming. Shouldn't you use your hands to mash them? Like. I wanna avoid using my hands. I wanna be like. I wanna feel like a, a true cook, you know? Alright, so Tom, it's ready. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna fold it while you flip it. Give it 30 more seconds. Oh, yeah, that's looking Oh, shit. Alright, flip that, John, for me. Nice shot. There were very high parts of Better Call Saul, but some of the episodes were just weird. Some of them were weird, but some of the Breaking Bad episodes were weird. True. The fly. The fly. Just is it the bottle? There is a fly. A lot. A lot. It's contaminated. It can't cook. It's contaminated. Isn't the cheese and meat for his presentation? Is or it? No, it's just no, for that's us. Just for that's just for you. Oh, that's just for yeah. the boys. Yeah. Unlucky, Catherine. The goal was to not get the ring light in the shots, but we're clearly failing at that. So. Dan was like making out with it before, so. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I like how the three of us are stretching over like really stupid things and Robert's just constantly running around. I haven't been able to catch what Robert, he's just running now? around. I didn't tell you guys, but I actually have a rat in my hat right now. So, like, without the rat... Without the rat, I'm a world's class chef. With the rat... Oh my god. I'm just giving him some practice. Uh, uh, it's the opposite of Ratatouille, I'm like training him. Oh, yeah. Jeez, so good. oh yeah. How that doesn't look fine. While everything is cooking, um, I'd like to say, uh, comment what you would like us to do next. We might do another cook-off. I don't know how we're gonna feel after this one. This is like our test grounds, you know. Mm, yeah, yeah. And we're learning things along the way. The next know? one could be desserts. Um, that one would be a nightmare. Like, there's infinite amount of things you can cook. So, like, uh, like you could do cook-off. Smoothie off? Yes, sir. What? A smoothie off? That, that would take like 30 like, seconds. Why are you so good? Right. How, How do you guys eat like food? this? Put it directly over. You're gonna eat their baby like this. Their baby. I don't know how I feel about that sentence. This is your baby too. No, my baby's the blame. Don't try to go to 7-Eleven get some milk. Now this is a cook-off. Literally right next to each other, we are cooking. It's great. I'm cooking 24-7. Tom, I feel just like the bear from the hit series, The Bear. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite shows is The Cooking Show with Gordon Ramsay. Uh, you know, that one. It's like, it's fucking sh it's trash. Where's the lawn song? Ah! How's the chicken going? I thought this was gonna be my area. Uh, the chicken's going okay. I only really need half of it, but you know, you can't buy half a cup of it. Oh, 
Freddy's not going to stay on. This is the stair. Tell me if you still taste the balsamic. Way too much balsamic. Do you taste anything else besides balsamic? I don't taste the blueberry. Yeah, that's done. Flip it over. Ten and a half. Yeah. Put on for like ten more seconds. Then the best steak ever will be off the grill. Nice background. You're rated out of 10 on taste, texture, temperature, and presentation. Taste, texture, presentation. Tem taste, texture, temperature, presentation. Okay. I'm gonna present your dish. This is my Baja av avocado pasta with chicken. It is a creamy avocado sauce made of sour cream, milk, avocados, multiple spices, and some garlic and salt. We have fried chicken cutlets on top with a cilantro garnish, hot sauce, and red pepper flakes. That's really good. <laughs> Okay, um, presentation wise, it was really good. like the garnish on top, also the way you drizzled the hot sauce. I think it was good. I'm trying to think because I want to make sure I'm not, I can't start too high. Mm -hmm. I think presentation, I'm gonna give it a nine for presentation. I'm like, no lie. And then temperature, temperature's kind of hard because everyone was still finishing up and yours was already over here, but it's still, it's still like. It's not hot, but it's warm. Like, it's a good temperature. I'd say 7.5. Texture. I have to have another, because the the chili flakes are like, or the pepper flakes, are the pepper flakes? Yeah. You need like mix them in. Because I thought they were gonna give more. Like, I like what you did where you had the skin on it, like the, the breading on it, and then you took it off. I think that did a really good job for taste, but I feel like it took away from texture. So I feel like texture-wise, it's hard because it's pasta, and pasta is like a very sort of neutral texture. So I'm gonna give it like a very neutral five out of 10. Taste is just really good. It's just really good. I would eat this all the time. I would give this a 10. I would eat this all the time. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Perfect, all right. Hello, You're good. Chef. This is our balsamic blueberry flank steak. Now, seated here is a beautiful 1.15 pound flank steak. Uh, it's marinated in a wonderful rosemary olive oil uh, balsamic marination. And then on top, we have a glaze, a blueberry glaze with some lemon and some balsamic and a little bit of sugar for taste. Please enjoy. Use the dipping sauce as much as you like. And is the dipping sauce the same as what's on the steak? Spoiler, yes. Now since we are not real cooks, and we don't know how to cook, we decided to make sure the steak was nice and cooked, because we did not want to give you a steak that was all red. You want to make sure it's No, I'm just saying we cooked it. Okay, right. I appreciate that. All right, take some of this, I guess. Yeah. That is really chewy steak. I could have kept chewing that for probably another two minutes. Mm. <laughs> you, know, go, you know, go for another bite. Another <laughs> I do like the color that this, the, the blueberries bring. Like, that's very nice. It's not just the plain, sort of like, if you were just gonna have some sort of balsamic glaze, be very brown, very dull. So I think that the colors that the blueberries bring are really nice. For my safety, I would definitely prefer an overcooked steak. Yeah, we heard on the side of caution, but it definitely hurt us um, a bunch. We tailored yeah. it to you. 
something about like that. We tailored it to edibleness. No, I didn't. And we over edible. We tailored it to her. Full blueberries on top of the steak made me kind of like uncomfortable. I didn't know how to feel about it because I also didn't know how it was going to taste. They, they pair together surprisingly well. I do taste way more balsamic than blueberry. Um, but I think that a, a blueberry sauce, so texture wise, <laughs> that was really cheery steak. It, it's overcooked. I, I would give it like a three and that's got to be nice. The, the steak is the steak's very rough, but like the sauce kind of helps that a little bit. That saves it. Mm -hmm. Presentation wise, um, it's very, it's it's steak and it's a glaze. It's kind of underwhelming. Um, I'm gonna give it another three. Thank you, chef. Um, temperature, it seems like the right temperature. Again, it's not hot, it's warm. We kind of let both of them sitting for a little bit. So I, I would just give it the same as the other. I would give it another seven. Like again, it's warm, it's not hot. And then taste-wise, I, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. You can be um, honest. No, it's, it's please, just. Please be honest. Please be honest, chef. <laughs> it just tastes like you took steak that you overcooked and then poured balsamic all over it. Which I like balsamic, but <laughs> even then. Not the balsamic. God damn. I'll try the sauce again to be, I'm not taking another bite of the steak. Uh, <laughs> If I ignore just the texture of it, taste-wise, it is good. It's just the texture is very distracting. I think taste-wise, I think I would give it like a seven. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, chef. All right, I think that's all of it. All right, we tally up the scores now. We have like a, 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 a letter it's of really ranking chewy. of each of them. Like you do my job. God damn it. I get this <laughs> and then I get that. That's so good. <laughs> it's fraternizing with the enemy. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> the failure. It was mad nice. It was mad nice. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here, Chief. <laughs> the vote is in. Mad nice. <laughs> you know, it is the expected outcome. Right. There wasn't a Especially after the, the steak yeah. blueberry box. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like pasta in general is much easier to use than steak. Yeah. Well, Matt died as a result of the shame he suffered from losing the cook-off. Passed away. He kept saying, thank you, chef, but inside, he was not thanking the chef. I wouldn't know. No. So that's our cook-off. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to Sheepy Face. Like and comment. That's Tell it. us what you want us to do next. Yeah. And we'll do it next year. Maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. The yearly upload strikes again. The yearly upload. And uh, thank you for checking this out. We have a lot of fun making these videos. And i um, very thankful that you guys enjoy watching our bullshit from time to time. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. So. See you in the next one. Outro music. Hell, oh yeah. <laughs>